All right, y'all. I always go way too long on these videos. Um, so I'm going to try to keep this one short because I do have a very precise message that I want to send out, but it needs a little bit of uh, background, so I'll try to do that really quick. Basically, the reason for this video, y'all know me. I'm not a huge fan of social media. I'm not all about social media. I got into this industry, the industry I'm in, to just make a cool hunting TV show, and I was hoping at the time that it would be as simple as all that, but now with the world of social media, it is what it is. Um, this video, however, is not about hunting at all. Um, I haven't been on social media, even what little I do get on social media, I haven't been on hardly at all for the last month as far as posting anything or doing much um, other than content that we already had created this season. The reason is, is I'm... I was pretty upset and I was pretty down about where our country's heading. And I know a lot of you are too. And the biggest question now people have is, what do we do? What's going to happen? What's going on? And there's so much bad fake news out there that it's hard to know what to believe. There are some sources that say that there's people in our government that are still good, that are actively working to put these evil people behind bars. I don't know if there's any truth to any of that or some of it or whatever. There's also uh, the other end of the spectrum that says we're all screwed and they're going to take away all our rights. Make no mistake, the far left, as it looks right now, has taken control of our country. And they very much want to take away people that are God-fearing Americans that believe in the principles that the Founding Fathers laid down. They want to take their rights away. Really, they just want to get rid of us. There's no doubt about it. This is all intentional. Everything that's been happening, for, well, for many years now, has been leading to this moment in history, and it's very much intentional and is very serious, and it's not something that you can sit back and go, uh, America is America. It's always been America, and it always will be. I'm just going to lay back and pretend like everything's cool in the gang and do my little hunting show and post my little pictures and I'm not trying to make fun of y'all that are doing that stuff I know you got to keep living you got to keep making a living and that's what I intend to do also but simultaneously it is our responsibility to get this message out there and the big question is without going into everything that's going on in the country there's some very terrible things going on in our country right now and there's some very positive things going on behind the scenes um, to what extent I don't know but hopefully hopefully sooner than later some good things start happening but until then, the only thing that we can do is pray. Now, I don't, I don't care if you don't necessarily what stage your life's in right now, whether you're a Christian or not. I'm challenging everybody. I'm actually challenging everybody in my industry to make a similar video in whatever way. you Make it in your own way. But encouraging people to pray to God, pray to our Creator and our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray to Him right now. If you've never prayed in your life, get on your knees right now and pray for this country because it is slipping away. If you think all is lost and we don't have any other recourse, then you got nothing to lose. Hit your knees and pray to God. If you think everything's going to be all totally fine and we're going to get through this just fine, hit your knees and pray to God. We need to pray now more than ever in this country. Whether you believe in the power of prayer or not, I don't care if you don't. I'm just challenging you if you'll... Just even if it feels silly, get down on your knees and truly seek God. Because right now, we're reaping what we sow, America. For years, we've been smacking God in the face. And we've been putting other things as our God. We've been putting money as our God. You know, we've been putting all the, any anything you can imagine in place of God. And we're, we are now reaping what we sowed. I'm praying to God. Personally, I hit my knees this morning. I prayed to God that it's not too late and to save his people and to destroy evil people. That was my personal prayer this morning. Destroy the people in this country who are evil. Put them behind bars. Make justice be done in God's name and save us and forgive us. That's the biggest thing is we are in need of a ton of forgiveness and I'm just challenging everybody out there, especially you believers, hit your knees and start praying. Don't ignore this problem and think that your your salvation lies within the fact that America has been here for so long. It really hadn't been there that long. 
and our founding fathers knew why the Constitution was so important and knew why we needed to fight to preserve it. But I'm asking you right now to start praying. I don't want this message to come across as negative. This is a very positive message. This is me telling y'all that, that we still have hope, man. There's still a chance. We need to come together because it's going to be super difficult to go through what we're going to probably have to go through in the near future. And it's going to be impossible without God and without each other. So this is my challenge to y'all. Hit your knees and pray. I challenge everybody that has any kind of social media influence in the hunting industry, outside of the hunting industry, but especially in the hunting industry, because um, a lot of y'all are my really close friends. I know y'all can spread the word through your platforms. The big message is hit your knees and pray to God for him to intervene that his will will be done over this situation. Not the end result, because we all know the end result. Spoiler alert, just in case y'all didn't know, God wins. The good guys win in the end. And that's the message that we need to spread, is that the good guys are going to win in the end anyway. Hit your knees and pray. Come together as Americans. And then the times ahead won't be as terrible. But you got to hit your knees and ask God to forgive us and help us because we all need it. Y'all be safe out there.